Welcome to Now on Android episode 41. First up, the second beta release for Android 12 is now available. Now the blog has lots more on what's new, but to summarize, lots of the privacy features we talked about back at I.O. are ready for you to test, such as the privacy dashboard with a new way for your app to give a rationale for permission uses at a specific time, mic and camera indicators along with an easy way for users to turn mic and camera feeds off, and a clipboard red notification. As always, check out the Android 12 beta site for information about behavior changes, new features and APIs, and more. And you're running out of time to try your app on the new release and send us feedback. We're halfway through the beta process, so there's not much time left to experience the joys of using pre-release Android 12. We announced submissions are now open for the Indie Games Accelerator and Indie Games Festival from Google Play. Now, the Accelerator provides mentorship for indie game studios, while the festival is a place to compete for featuring promotions and other prizes. You can apply for either program by July 1st. The Mad Skills More Navigation series, Murat Yanner's second season about using Android Jetpack Navigation, has two new episodes featuring more complex use cases. Navigation with multiple backstacks, as well as navigation and feature modules, including ones delivered with Play Feature Delivery. We did a blog post and a short video update for all of the Mad Skills content from I.O., so you don't have to comb through all of our sessions to learn a little more about what's mad. Speaking of short I.O. video updates, we've been recapping I.O. highlights around various topics in approximately 90-second video segments. In addition to the aforementioned Mad Skills 1, we also covered Android 12, as well as the work we've done with form factors, including Wear, Auto, Tablets, Foldables, and TV. Now, on the topic of Mad Skills and multiple backstacks, Ian Lake gave us a deep dive into multiple backstacks and some of the Mad Skills that it took to make this feature happen in both Fragments and Navigation on our Medium blog. We also covered the Jetpack App Search Library, which has a bit more information on doing high-performance on-device full-text searches. Megan blogged about the way Android 12 prevents touch events from being delivered to your app if these touches first pass through a window from a different app. And this is a behavior change that happens regardless of the app target SDK version. It also covers alternatives and how you can test to see if your app will be impacted. And Manuel covered injecting an application scoped coroutine scope using Hilt, which allows you to launch new coroutines that follow the app lifecycle or to make certain work outlive the caller's scope. There have been three new episodes of Android Developers Backstage posted since the last Now in Android. Episode 165 had Chet and Roman chatting with Hunter and Nick from the Material Design team about recent additions and improvement to the Material Design component libraries, such as transitions, motion theming, compose, and large screen support. While episode 166 has Chad and Jeff from the Android security team joining Tora Roman to talk about security, explaining what the platform does to help preserve user trust and device integrity, and why it sometimes means restricting existing APIs, touching on what apps can do or should worry about. Episode 167 is the second episode of our mini-series on Jetpack Compose, ADBC, where Nick and Roman are joined by Anastasia, George, and Mihai to talk about Compose's layout system. They explain how the Compose layout model works and its benefits, introduce common layout composables, discuss how writing your own layout is far simpler than views, and how you can even animate layouts. So that's it for this time, with a new Android 12 beta, some advanced navigation guidance, cool stuff for indie game developers, app search, and more. Listen to the Design, Security, and Compose podcast, and please come back here soon for the next update from the Android developer universe.